Good day, folks. I'm on an expedition here today. Doing a bit of driving around. I got a bunch of several places I want to check out today if I got the time. Now, this is the first stop. Been here before. This time I parked way up by the highway instead of coming down the normal way. And it actually uh, was only a short jaunt through a small section of trees to get to here so and now it doesn't look so obvious as to where I'm at based on where I'm parked <laughs> so anyways let me get down in here all I got with me at the moment is my scratcher here but I think that's probably all I'm gonna need anyways and if I find anything I'll get you back up on A few moments later. Well, I'm on site here. I just start scratching around, folks. This is the spot. I was here not too long ago. But I got that weird-looking handle piece out of here. It's like a Japanese sword handle. Maybe a toy or whatever. I never did figure out what it was. But anyways, I'm just scraping around in the same general... Oh, there's a... Scrape around the same general area little cork top amber miniature that's tiny always like the little tiny ones haven't been able to get out much lately folks vehicle had been in the garage for about two months so I'm just starting to get back out around and uh, last time I was here none of these bushes were here so I'm right in the thick of her <laughs> as you can see <laughs> Uh, anyways, let's get back at it. Looks like I got a milk bottle here. Don't know if it's whole or not, but it, it kind of seems like it is. Let's pull it out. Ah, oh, no, it's broke. It was a big one. It's embossed, too. Huh? Got the guy holding the big old bottle of milk on it. Here's the name on the back here. Cooperative Milk Bottling Association. Well, that would have been nice. Well, so you never know. Might get some milk bottles out of here. Well, I've had crap luck here so far, folks. Other than that little tiny amber cork top, which I'll be leaving. But uh, right now, I see see that sticking out of there. Yes, sir. Nice glass stopper. That's a keeper, we'll keep that one. So one good find so far. I've got a few other stops today. Maybe we'll turn some better stuff up. Hey, right, let's keep going. And one cobalt blue Vicks Victronol. That's it, I'm out of here. Thumbs up. Okay, folks, I'm on site at one location I'm checking out here today, and I've been here in the past, maybe a couple of years ago, and I know there's some debris right up in through that way, but right here is a big old huge cellar hole, and those are all kinds of big old trees growing up out of the center of it. And as you can see, as I pan over this way, these are all vines here, and all that brown down in there, that reddish brown, those are all vines, as far as you can see, and they grow and go way up into the top of these trees down there too. All those apple trees are covered in vines. But I thought maybe if I came here today before these all grow leaves, I might be able to uh, see something, if there's any debris down in them, but I don't know. This is nearly impossible navigating through all these vines. So I'm going to head, try to head over that way on the other side of that cellar hole where I know there is some debris over there that I haven't uh, dug through yet. So I'm going to do that, and if I find anything, I'll get you back up on. Okay, YouTubers. Check out those vines way up to the top of that 
Just amazing. Anyways, I'm in the I'm in a pile of debris here now. I've dug out a few things. Here's a big old piece of metal. This shell just come out. The Winchester 38-40 it says. Well, I just looked that up. And apparently they were made up until 1937. 1870s up to 1937. So that's interesting. And here's a few pieces of glass that come out. Full bottle. It's a screw top though. Neat pattern on that. Looks like it's real old. There's a piece out of a door. Door lock. And uh, there's an old horseshoe as well. So I'm going to keep beating, uh, beating uh, the dirt down here and see what's underneath it. These vines make it nearly impossible to do anything. Look at them. They're just... I'm right in the middle of them. <laughs> I see some more debris backing through here too, so no telling what might turn up. I'll keep you posted. Okay, so I'm still digging around in this root clump here, folks. You can see that's a, that's a tree in there. It's falling over. And this is a big root clump here. And this stuff's all coming up out of it, but uh, I just scrape this here out. Check it out little plastic piece off a toy gun off the handle got a horse head on it I might hang on to that that's kind of cool it's all in one piece and then this little brass piece here come out as well not quite sure what that is a little lever or handle off something kind of neat so I'll just put these over, put this other stuff over here. Got a button there too. Not too exciting, but there we go. Keep uh, digging around. I'm also getting right down into some frozen ground here too, so I can see I'm going to have to come back in the future. Okay, so pulling out some metal stuff here, folks. There's a, a square nail. So that's getting back there. All right. And then uh, right with it, this here come out. I'm not sure what this is. It's an interesting looking piece for sure. Anybody recognize that or got any ideas? Some of you metal detectors ever pull anything out like that? All right. Got some horseshoes and stuff there too. I'll show what all I pull out of here at the end. Whoa, getting awful humid here, folks. I was just digging over there. I wasn't finding much. So I came over this way. I'm kind of in a trench here. These vines are making it nearly impossible to do anything. But I got something right down in the hole here. It looks like a piece of pottery, but it's not loose. So I don't know what it is. I just thought I'd get you up and show you. And then uh, once I get it out, we'll see what it is. Alright, hold on for a minute. Okay, so there it is. Whatever it is, it's got a piece of metal attached to the end of it here. Let's pull that out. There we go. Okay, I know exactly what that is. That's off a ringer washer. Or a washboard or something. It's one of the rollers. Cool. Alright, that's an interesting find. Oh, come out with it too. Still got the lid on it, but uh, it's not embossed. All right. Well, there's a wash basin right there, too, to go with it. <laughs> well, not having much luck right here, folks. I'm going to get out of this hole here, but uh, this entire area up all through here is of interest to me. So, the only, really, the only thing I think worth keeping is this uh, gun handle here, which would look good in a little fines jar. So, I'm going to hang on to that. There's some other shards and three horseshoes. This piece here was kind of interesting, but uh, unless somebody can identify it, and if it's some sort of important piece, I'll come back for it. And then otherwise, we just got some like depression glass stuff. There's a piece of flow blue, I think. All right, so I'll take my metal detector and kind of go around the area and uh, explore a little bit more. Still on the same property. 
we're by a stream here now. There seems to be a little bit of debris up through the woods here, but uh, got the old metal detector going and just uncovered this, which is a sign, but it seems to be stuck in the ground there pretty good. Let's see if I can get it out. More metal. Got it. Get her out here and see. Something beverages. Drink. So a drink. Beverages is all I can make out. Must have said some kind of beverage, I would think. But if it did, it's long gone. Oh well, that's kind of cool. I wonder if there was a store around here. Good day fellow YouTubers. Hope everybody's doing well today and thank you for joining me on another bottle digging recap extravaganza. That's right. And in this old video today, I hit two locations. Neither one of them produced a whole lot of finds. So, as I would normally do in such a occasion in the recap here, I'm just going to do uh, something a little bit different and I'm going to do another unboxing now this unboxing oh hold that thought this unboxing right here is compliments of an old girl i was doing some work for and she's about 70 years old and these bottles belong to her father and uh he had passed away and left a several boxes of old bottles that he had collected over the years and she had them sitting out on her back step <laughs> when i spotted them and uh, she had had several boxes as i say but somebody else had already got to the other boxes i sure wish i had a, got to them first but anyways here's the final box and i will show you what is in it okay folks so i'm just gonna randomly pull these out of the box here i have a rough idea what's in there uh before we get started what am i drinking captain morgan 100 spice drum this here folks is 50 percent alcohol 100 proof <laughs> that puppy's got a kick to it but it tastes pretty good you only have to drink a couple of those and uh, you'll be fine all right so here's the first bottle Check it out. I haven't cleaned these up or anything, folks. They've just been sitting in this box for about a month or so now. Look at this old applied lip on that one. I don't see any seams, so it's looking like it's going to be a spin mold. And it's black glass. It's almost like a dark, dark olive color. You can kind of see through that, actually. Might be able to pick up the color there. But anyways, that's a nice oldie. And... Uh, Here's another one. Still got the wire bail on that one. And a bit of a cork. And full of what looks to be water. Three piece mold. Check it out. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking. Okay. Don't want to tip that upside down. I'll have to drain that before storing it away. But uh, there that is. Whoo! I can smell it. I'll just set that one over on that side. I should set these out here as I go. Okay, two down. I hope this doesn't take too long. I'll just kind of go through them quickly. Look, here's a little tiny case gin with an applied lip. Nice old blown one. Oh, no, it's cracked. Oldies and goldies. Man, oh, man. Like I say, I wish I had a got to these a lot sooner. Kind of a letdown. Here's an oldie here. That one does appear to be machine made, but it's still quite old by the looks of it. It's an amber one. Some gooey stuff on the opening there. Here's one with a partial label on it, folks. Check it out. That's an oldie. 
Yep. And uh, like I say, they had been left outside for quite some time, which is a shame. Here's one. Check it out, folks. Nice old applied lip on it, three-piece mold, and that would have had the label on it. These come out of a barn. The uh, old guy had stored them in a barn, and uh, when his daughter got them, she stored them on her back step out in the weather. <laughs> what a shame. Here's another nice old case gin. Applied lip. Look at that globby old lip on that. Man, oh man. Nice oldie. This one, oh, liquid in that one too that's coming out. All right, I'm going to set that over on this side again. I'll try to get that drained out. <laughs> Cheers, folks. There's a neat little old bottle. That looks to be applied. Definitely applied. Three-piece mold. I can see the seam right there. These are oldies and goldies. Woo! <laughs> Another old one there. Look, that one's got some uh, leaves stuck to it. Check it out. These are old. Man, oh man. Anything in that one? Doesn't look like it, but... Uh, there's one there. Okay, that one is not as old as the other ones. It looks old, but it isn't. Here's an old one here, folks. Oh, that one's cracked as well. Check it out, and it is embossed. T.F. Ash. Trademark Liverpool, and it's got a Dragon, I would say, up on there. Yep, fire breathing dragon. Still got the cork in it. Oh, that's leaking as well. Oh, what a friggin' shame. That is cracked. Man, oh man. What a shame. <laughs> this is almost depressing. <laughs> oh, here's another old bottle here. Nothing in that one. And that appears to be another three-piece mold. I mean, we're looking at uh, like 1880s here, folks. Yeah, 140-year-old bottles. Look, here's one here, too. Applied lip on that one. And you can see that would have had the label on it. And it has been washed off in the elements. And it is a three-piece mold. Like, we're talking like 1880s bottles here that would have had the labels on them, folks. Frag. Disappointing. Here's a nice one here. Got the cork still in it. Now another nice applied lip there. Got some liquid in it. Oldie. And finally, I see I got one more case gin, and it is busted. But it had the label on it as well, and it is an oldie. Applied lip on that one as well. What a friggin' shame, folks. Look, there's a Van Burkle. Almost enough to make you cry. <laughs> I'll try to hold my tears back for you. So. <laughs> oh, the stuff dreams are made of. Okay, folks. So thanks for watching. I'm going to get some of the liquid poured out of these ones if I can. And get them stored away properly. Uh, hope everybody's having a great day. We'll see you all in the next one. Over and out, folks.